I've been on the show uh, about four and a half years. How long should I have been on the show is two weeks. Someone approached me and said, would you like a job on the Jerry McHale show? And I said, well, I'll consider it. And so I came up to Manchester and I did a two week trial and nobody ever, ever came back to me. So I'm here now four and a half years. The majority of my workload, uh, which is about 80%, is behind the camera. And it starts long before the guests arrive in the studios. So what normally happens is, is that the producers will select their stories and the people to participate in those stories. And once they've made that selection, they need to have a check. And so if there are any mental health issues, then they will bring those to me. Or if they need to seek advice on a lie detector test or a DNA test, then they'll come to me to seek advice on that. The most common issue usually is family conflict. And uh, conflict can rise from any number of things. And often you find that a child has a disagreement with their mother or their father, and it won't get resolved. And it may be as simple as parents not recognizing that that child is moving on and developing independence. And that in itself causes a lot of conflict at times. What will happen is prior to the show, um, the production team will call the participant and they will take a full and detailed history of them. Uh, that history could involve a biological history, so you need to know whatever medical problems there might be, a psychological history to see if there's any mental health issues, an educational history. We may send some people to counselling to deal with past issues. We may send people to relationship counselling to heal a fractured relationship. But then when people have alcohol problems, we may have to refer to an alcohol agency. Once they've been in the agency and perhaps detox, it's then so important to deal with the underlying psychological problems. So therefore we will refer them on for psychological counselling. I think sometimes people are naive when they criticise the show. I do understand it when people criticise the show. I think what they don't understand is the amount of checks that take place before the contributor actually goes on the stage. And we do social checks and criminal checks and biological checks and psychological checks, a whole range of checks to make sure that that person is suitable to participate in the Jeremy Kyle show. Once you've carried out all of those checks and they are suitable, then it's up to the contributor to make a decision about whether they want to appear or not. And so I leave it to the contributor to make that decision.